Yeah. Hi, friend. Um, I got to show you how to use the command prompt to troubleshoot your network. You know, it sounds frustration. And when you are on the system and you have a slowdown network, uh, you don't really know what is going on. Maybe it's from the computer, or maybe it's from the router, or maybe it's from the uh, motor, or maybe it's from the OM Wi-Fi hotspot you are using. So I got to show you how you can diagnose the faults out with command prompt. Okay, so there are four commands I got to use to show you how to diagnose the problem on your system, which are four command prompts I got to show you right now. So, number one, I got to show you number one. IP config IP config that is number one number two ping and number three trace RT trace RT trace RT and number four NS lookup NS lookup so those are the four commands I got to show you how to use it on command prompt and understand how they work so that you can really know what is going on with your network before you start deciding on your own. So let's get started now. Let's start with the IP config. The IP config, the IP config, the IP config, Display a display the IP config display the IP config a display all current TCP slash IP network configuration it display all current TCP and IP configuration IP network configuration that is a basic it display all the basic information the system the your computer um, IP which is your internet protocol um, and all, all the rest your router and everything that is the work of the IP config so IP config display all current all current TCP, TCP IP network, TCP IP network configuration, configuration, configuration value, volumes, it gives you the basic information. It can also put it like that. It gives you it give you the basic the basic information basic information it's give you the basic information to get your IP address subnet to get your IP address subnet subnet etc so let's the command prompt you got to open your command prompt you got to hold your windows keys and r windows key and r and you type cmd cmd and you press your enter key this is what we are going to use to diagnose to know how the ip config work so now i got to type it ip config ip config enter key now as you can see this is the IP config leaving all the information on your system and as you can see it's the wireless LAN port adapter well and we are not using wireless um, LAN port adapter here we got to go under 
the wireless LAN port adapter if you are using the Ethernet which is your LAN port with the one you plug to the router you got to see it here too the Ethernet is there you have the Ethernet you have the Ethernet the, um, now under this wireless LAN port adapter we have the IP that is IPv4 address 192.168.8.102 that is my IP address my system IP address and then we have the subnet mark then we have the default gateway which is a router that the router you are using that is a um, 192.168.8.1 that's the router I'm using now so all you got to do right now you're going to see all the basic information again let's go down again just to clear the screen so that you can really understand what the IP config really means is just to list out the basic information on your network there then let's clear it clear it IP config slash all that is all everything now you have seen everything that is inside the system we have the ethernet adapter we have the median state we have the ethernet adapter bluetooth network connection which is yes i have a bluetooth connection there uh, we also have the have the connection here we have the ip address we have the server we have the everything here uh, we also have the DHCP enable which is the domain we have the description we have everything here so that is all about the IP address now now let's go to the step two I know everyone understand what the IP address really mean now because they got to use the IP config to fill all the basic of your computer computer okay now step two is the pink pink p-i-n-g the pink the pinks allowed you allowed you it allowed you to send a signal to send a signal to another to another device to another device on the network allow you to send the it allow you to send the signal to another device on the network and to see if it is active to see to see if it is it is active this is active so what it really mean about this pink man what this really mean is that it got to show you maybe the ip address you got to check on maybe it's active or the website maybe for instance maybe google have a breakdown website and you're gonna check maybe uh, it's from the google it's from the system or it's from the router or it's from the modem uh, all you can do right now you just have to type the ping right space www.google.google.com and enter key and you got to see the list and it got to give you four results right now reply from which is because we have the four ip address the 173 which is one the 194 which is two the one the 44 which is three and the 82 which is four this is the google ip address the google ip address is it so now it's trying to let us know that there is no there is no problem concerning the google the google is very sound and okay this network is smoothly and it takes 2229 mx to deliver the message and it told us that the approximately random trips time in a mail seconds that is it gave us four receive and zero loss that is if we can see maybe around uh time request out that means the network is bad 
but now we got to see lost is equal to zero zero percent loss that is there is no problem the goggle is okay the website they want to check is okay that's the work of the pain the pain got to fight you to know maybe the website you're gonna visit maybe it's cool or it's not maybe it's bad man so now that is how the pain works the pings allow you to send the signal to another device it can also use your it can also use your IP address to check maybe the and uh, maybe the internet the, the internet access is from your system it can also check by the ping PING with your IP address and enter key that is how it work that is the ping how it work that is number two let's go to the number three right now now we are going to the trace RT trace RT trace RT T R A C E R T trace RT trace RT lets you see the step by step route the step by step route package step by step route package taken to the destination you specify that is when you are searching something on Google or any website it take 10 routes before you deliver to the goggle it take 10 routes to deliver to the goggle and now to check the state trace rt you just have to type t r a c e that's a trace rt space bar www w dot goggle goggle dot com enter key and as you can see, we have the number one, two MX, the two MX, the four MX home router, which is my, that is my home router. Uh, now I only have the home router with, this is my home router, which is 192.168.8.1. That's my home router. And the second said request time out because I don't send any message to the Google. I'm just working on it and it's reading this is the second and uh, so it got to give you a request it, like the trace it traces the internet access how long the thing has been on and how long the thing has been transferred to every other network and as you can see it started from my own which is on 192.168.8.1 which is my router that is how the trace arity work it lets you the trace arity lets you it lets you see the step by step, the step by step, the step by step. Let us see the step by step routes. Step by step routes. A packet. Step by step routes. A packet takes to the destination. Destination. Step by step with the package the destination you specify. You spe specify the destination to the destination you specify. That is how the trace RT work. Those are the last, the last not the least. Now which is a NX lookup. NS lookup. NS lookup. NS lookup. And let's look up this command. This command. This command will fix. I will fix. This command fix. I will fix. This command fix. This command fix. They. DNS, which is your domain name system, DNS record, DNS record, DNS record for a given, for a given, for a given domain, for a given domain name or IP address or IP address that is what this really mean is that when you are on the system the computer you're using understand the website by the ip address 
Oh, what I mean by the high pay address? Each website has only high pay address, so you really the you are the one who understand the website by www. For example, www.google.com. You are the one who understand that, but the computer understand the high p the website by high p address. So each ha, each website has its own high p address. So the computer understand the language by the high p address. When you're gonna visit any website, it translates it. It translated in a BNS record to the IP address so that it can pick up the signal. So, for you now to check, for example, I open the command prompt. Open the command prompt. I open the command prompt. Click at oh yeah. Open the command prompt right now. So. The NS lookup, NS lookup, NS lookup slash www.google.com. As you can see, this is Google IP address. Google doesn't have one IP address, so you know it's a very large website. Each time the IP address change. Um, all this 173.194.122.241 is one of the Google IP address followed by 173. So when you copy this IP address and paste it on your website, you got to open to Google direct because the system understand the base by IP address, but you understand the website by the name. So. This is all about the four using command prompt to troubleshoot your network. And I know you enjoyed this lecture, so subscribe more to have more of this video. And thank you very much for watching this. Have a nice day.